Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jackson, and welcome back to another video. So I have switched back um, to this setup, as you can see. Um, people told me that it was a bit more comfortable, this one. It was more of like a, a warm feel, and you guys like this background with my coat rack and my computer and desk and stuff. So here we are. <laughs> So if you are new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. We are on the road to 35,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And if we could hit that, that'd be super cool. So if you could help us out, it would mean a bunch. Also, if you enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up by the end of it. It helps the algorithm and it helps my videos get out there more. And I want to help educate the world and the YouTube platform about LGBT topics. So if you could help out, that would mean a lot. It's free. You just got to click that little button down there and it just does a lot for me. So yeah. So for today's video, I wanted to talk about how I am stealth at work. Like... 80%. <laughs> what I mean by 80% is I'm actually not stealth to like a few girls in work, but to every guy that is in my job that isn't a manager, I am stealth. If you don't know what stealth is, here is the definition. So we are going to the very reliable Urban Dictionary for this definition. So a behavior in the transsexual community where a fully transitioned person lives completely as their new gender and does not reveal they are transsexual. A transsexual person may go stealth in order to avoid transphobia and bigotry or simply because they wish to be seen simply as male or female and not transsexual. So when I got this job, I got it in about May and that meant that I was about two and a half months on testosterone or three months-ish um, and my voice was starting to drop and I was starting to get a little bit of facial hair. So I, was set, I kind of said to myself, look, I'm going to go into this job stealth and see how I feel and if I eventually want to come out to the people, I will. And if I can get, if I don't get asked or if nobody, you know, kind of cops onto it, I'm not going to tell anybody that I'm trans. So um, that worked out for like the first like week. <laughs> Being stealth is hard. Like I'm so, because of my YouTube channel, I'm so used to talking about being trans and I have so many funny stories about being trans and I always make jokes about myself being trans um, to just kind of make people more comfortable around me. And that's something I wasn't able to do with the majority of my workers, my co-workers, because I just didn't feel comfortable telling them at that point. One girl who was actually in the LGBT community, um, I accidentally came out to her because I was saying how I may need to get a surgery next year and I'm going to have to get a month off work. And she was like, do you mind me asking what surgery it is? And I was like, oh, it's just a surgery on my chest. And she just kind of copped on. She was like, oh, so like you're trans? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> In my head, most people don't know what top surgery is, so I'm shook when people actually know what it was. So I accidentally came out because I was an idiot and just assumed someone wasn't educated when they were, so shout out to her. <laughs> but yeah, she was super sweet about it and she said that she wouldn't tell anybody. She understood that I wanted to be stealth and just seen as me and not, you know, trans me. So she was really cool about that. Um, the, another person that knew is actually a childhood friend, so obviously she was gonna, she knew, she's known me since I was like four. So she's completely chill. She's also in the LGBT community. Um, so we just get along great. <laughs> Another person knows um, because I accidentally made a trans joke and she heard and she thought I was being transphobic. So I came out to her very quickly and explained very briefly. And she was like, oh, I completely thought like that you were like doing something else, like you were being like against it. And I was like, no, I'm trans myself. Um, and she was like, yeah, it's cool. It's 2019, Get everybody needs to get with it. And I was like, yeah, if you don't mind telling, like not telling people, I'd be like, I'd appreciate it very much. And she was like, yeah, no problem. Um, and then one other person knows because they just kind of knew my channel. <laughs> that's that's about it. Someone in work knew my channel. It's harder for me to t come out to the guys. I haven't come out to any of the guys yet. They might have copped on, don't get me wrong, and they're just being respectful and not saying anything. But I'm just so scared to tell the guys in work because, like, don't get me wrong, they're lovely, lovely people. Nobody's made me feel uncomfortable in work. They've all made me super, super like feel super welcome. Um, but I'm just so scared because I share their changing rooms and I don't want them to feel like... I've betrayed them or I'm being like really secretive with them or you know I'm being creepy or anything like it's just one of those fears that if I tell any of the guys in work that I'm trans they're just gonna start treating me completely differently and they're just not gonna be comfortable around me and that's just something that I don't want <laughs> but yeah I thought being stealth was gonna be a lot easier um, and it's just it's just really not like it's it's great don't get me wrong like people literally just see me as Jack and there's no questions or no awkward conversations it's just you know, going to work, hey Jack, what's up, go home, it's great, um, and when they, if like, nobody's asked, but like, I, somebody asked me to go to the gym, and then go for a swim afterwards, and I was like, huh, 
then I was just kind of like, ah, uh, I'm like really insecure because I'm like super skinny, which is true. I am super insecure about being super skinny. Um, and I was like, oh, and if you're wondering why my voice isn't that low, I actually kind of hit puberty late and blah, blah, blah. And he was like, oh, I don't care. I didn't even think about it. Like your voice is fine. <laughs> so yeah, it's been odd, but good. If any of you guys are stealth and have any advice for me, um, please comment it down below and let me know because it is something that I'm kind of struggling with a little bit because I don't know how to approach certain things. Um, so yeah, if you have any advice for me, uh, you can either just comment it down below or you can DM me on Instagram. Um, it would mean a lot. Like, help your boy out, please. <laughs> I don't know if I plan to tell anybody else in work. Um, I don't know if I ever will come out, if I'll come out tomorrow. If I'll, I don't know. I'm just kind of going with the flow and seeing how it's working. Um, I'm not ashamed of being trans, but I'm just for my own kind of comfort zones and just kind of keeping it away from my work life. I've just chosen to not tell the majority of my workers. Um, so it's chill, you know. That's it for this video. Like I said, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment down below any advice or if you're stealth, if you have any funny stories about being stealth or anything you want to talk about that relates to this topic, um, comment down below and let me know. I'd love to read your comments. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It is free. It helps me a lot. Do it, please. Thanks. And yeah, as usual, I hope you had, have, or are having an amazing day. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Quote Ellen, be kind to one another. Didn't forget.